Hello and welcome to September's monthly speedometers update. I'm Charles Luke, Chief Investment Officer at City National Rockdale. Equity markets have staged an impressive comeback since falling in early August. From the market low on August 5th, the S&P 500 is up 8% and about 1% below its all-time high. We think several developments have helped restore an upbeat feel across markets. On the macro side, the economy is growing and inflation continues to slow, with consumer and producer prices coming in softer than expected for the month of July. Spending data has also shown the U.S. consumer is still very active. The primary concern lately has been the job market, but we continue to believe it's cooling from its blistering pace, not accelerating to high levels of unemployment. Earnings season is also wrapping up with mostly positive results. S&P 500 earnings growth is tracking at 11%. That's up from expectations of 9%. Sales growth at consumer-facing companies continues to advance, and real income growth is positive across the country. But there are some caveats to the numbers. Companies are reporting earnings that are about 3.5% above estimates, and that is below the five-year average. Top-line revenue performance is also below average, and there have been some concerns about the toward pace of earnings in tech, which are likely to decline over the coming quarters. Overall, this is the first time since 2022 that stocks outside the Magnificent Seven have produced positive earnings, and we do think this will continue to power the market from here. But even with some of this positive momentum, the next two months stretch will lead us to the November election, and it has historically been challenging for stocks with bigger daily fluctuations and lower returns. If we add in the source of volatility from a close presidential race and the current situations in international conflict zones, and there could be some major moves from the market in either direction. And investors do need to be prepared for that. However, the fundamental backdrop is in good shape, and we have made four improvements to our speedometers this month. Our monetary policy dial is moving into the green zone. In Jackson Hole, Fed Chair Powell gave his clearest signal yet that it is time to ease policy. And we expect the first cut at the next meeting in September, followed by more easing later in the year. The conditions this time around for rate cuts are somewhat unique. The Fed is not responding to a collapsing economy or challenges within the financial system. We think the upcoming rate cuts are more about letting off the brake, not hitting the gas. And we do expect this cycle to be gradual. It's not going to result in 3% mortgage rates or deliver a heavy dose of liquidity initially, but it is a step toward lower borrowing costs for consumers and businesses. We've also made some positive changes to our yield curve and interest rate dials, but they're still neutral overall. Long-term interest rates are likely to remain elevated and rates are not expected to return to the low levels of the pre-pandemic era. We also believe the shape of the yield curve should become less negative with solid growth and lower short-term rates easing the inversion. The final speedometer change was an improvement in our business outlook. Business owners have been hesitant to start new projects ahead of the U.S. election, and we believe that will result in a flurry of corporate spending once the new president is in the White House. In addition, if we look at federally funded infrastructure projects, and they did receive a boost under the bipartisan infrastructure bill, those are going to help keep business spending up. And so over the last 40 years, stocks have performed well after the first Fed rate cut, but further market volatility in the months ahead is possible, especially as we approach Election Day. The environment can change quickly, but growth is still healthy, corporate America is performing well, and the Fed is about to cut interest rates. That leads us to believe the market is on a sturdy foundation. Thank you for joining me this month for our September Speedometer Update, and until next month, take care.